Hey guys, it's day two at Indiana Sand Dunes National Park. Today we're going to do the Cow's Bog Trail. Um, so we're going to hike down. It's a five mile trail down to the beach. And um, as you can see, there's some nice wildfires behind me. The parking lot is actually full, so we had to park by the fire station. But it's pretty nice wildfires, as you can see. Kind of, nice, kind of a nice setup there. So, five miles. Looking forward to it. Enjoy! As a go and steward, so we're starting on the Cal's Bog Trail. And once again, this is the third time I've said this, this is the weirdest national park I've ever been to. Um, you can see there's power lines over my head. We are walking on a power line trail. Um, factories on, over there. So this will be interesting, but definitely lots of flowers and lots of butterflies, so that's pretty cool. So enjoy the view. What's pretty cool is uh, Brittany and I walked through this little marsh wetland area. I think it's really interesting to see the biodiversity of the wildlife. Because over here to our left we have this marsh. We see things like great blue herons, uh, an egret. We saw, I think I saw a tern flying around. And then as you go on this side, it's just a, a wetland. So there's a lot of grasses. I saw some lizard tail in there. Plenty of cattails. Um, it's a lot of a lot of biodiversity in just a small space. What's really cool is the park rangers are doing everything they can to reclaim this for the indigenous plant populations. And as indigenous populations come back, as the biodiversity is starting to reestablish itself, they're starting to see an influx in great blue herons, and there's the birds flying around. So it's really cool. Um, this all used to be part of Lake Michigan back in the day. Very interesting stuff.
can't tell if we just spotted a beaver or a muskrat. But you can see it eating the lily pads right there. I guess is it a muskrat maybe? It's hard to tell. It's cute. So now we're on the uh, beach portion of the bog trail. We're going to the beach anyways. Completely unexpected twist of biodiversity. Over here we have this mucky, swampy grossness. And over here to the right, there's this marsh with a bunch of lily pads. I see some lizard tails over there. And I did find a turtle. First time I found a turtle in the wild, I think. Basking on a log, so that's pretty cool. Here we are walking along the trail. What do we find? A little turtle going across the trail. Looks like it's a painted turtle. It's so cute. Maybe a couple years old. Hi guy. Go off on your merry way. Ribbit. Ribbit. All right, so we're done with that marshy bogginess and now we're transitioning into a forest wooded area that's very close to the bog so um, very interesting enjoy the view All right, so now we're going up this hill. And if I remember correctly, in one of the brochures I read, this hill used to be a sand dune maybe a couple hundred years ago, and it has since been taken over by these woods that you see us walking through. It's very cool how things can change. Maybe it's a thousand years, I don't know. But this definitely used to be a sand dune. It's really cool to see how things change. So I will flip the camera around and show you what we're seeing. All right, so before we get to the beach, we have this little sand dune hill we gotta climb, um, which isn't like other hills because it's sand. It's kind of annoying, but you can see there, kind of nice. See over there, it's also kind of nice. Enjoy watching. Looks like we conquered the hill. We have a second hill. I'm actually surprised it doesn't have steps because the hill's eroding away. Not like other parks I've been to. But we definitely have a second one, so yay! <laughs> Thank you. 
little toad, I almost stepped on him. He started hopping away, that's the only reason why I saw him. Really good camouflage, super cute. First we went up, then we went down. You can see the hill behind me. The hard part isn't the height, it's the sand. So if you're gonna come here, just be careful. There's no steps. Uh, you can kind of use the roots to help stabilize, but you're rewarded with a pretty cool view. The beach is definitely in sight. Enjoy the view. So uh, we're on the beach, it's pretty cool. You can hear the music of all the boaters behind me. A uh, pretty cool place of how you can both preserve and enjoy nature. I think it's really important that all of us have to learn. Um, here I am, I'm working on a sandbar that um, after heavy rains is actually underwater. So it's pretty cool. You can kind of see the uh, cliff behind me a little bit. Um, but enjoy the view, I'll give you a shot. Hey guys, so we just finished at the beach. Um, thank you for watching. It was a really cool place. I hope you one day get to see it. Um, so it's definitely, I wouldn't say it's, it's a hard trail, but with the sand, it's, it puts it on a different level than easy. Um, it's definitely got to be aware of that. Um, so thanks for watching the videos. If you want to see more videos of nature, um, how to be a good steward and take care of the planet Earth that we live on, Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Please hit the like button if you like this video. If you learned something, please share it with your friends and family. And stay tuned for more videos.